everyone, it's Deanna Tham. Um, again, my, I'm the music director of the Union Symphony Orchestra, and today I am here with David Strasberg, who is the concert master of the Union Symphony Orchestra. And today we're going to talk about um, another piece that we're really excited about for this short, abbreviated, but again, very exciting season. The piece we're going to talk about today is Jesse Montgomery's Starburst. Now, this is a piece that was written for string orchestra. So I think David's really a great person to talk about uh, it because it has so many amazing string techniques, so many amazing colors. So David, what it draws you to this piece? What's so exciting about it? This piece is so exciting. It really does bring out all the colors of the strings um, with uh, lush sounds, um, it has a very much uh, dance-like uh, character to it, almost as if you're in a spaceship and <laughs> you're gonna blast off to uh, another galaxy. Uh, and it's very evocative. Uh, the colors with uh, the vibrato, um, what is vibrato? Vibrato enhances the, the tone uh, and it's like a very singing quality. And I think So we're using pizzicato, uh, plucking the strings. Um, it, it can have that very percussive feel. And uh, all these, these glissandos as well, where we're playing in the high range and, and um, uh, 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 sliding, gliding yeah. down from a higher range to a lower range and then back up again. Uh, Of like a wailing it's, kind of sound or a streaking, uh, right? Because it's star streaking. That's yeah. right. Yeah, and with, with with the other with the other players in the in the sections uh, and is passed around um, and uh, kind of this uh, conversation almost. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's very exciting uh, and quite um, uh, virtuosic. Uh, you can tell that she's a violinist <laughs> and, uh, and, a, and a very good one at that. I should say so. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, um, so Jesse Montgomery is a uh, an African American composer who lives in who hails from New York. She was trying to achieve so many colors with just the strings and you can tell that she's just a master of that. Like you said using extended techniques, different techniques like vibrato and pizzicato plucking of the strings to get these kind of popping sounds like she describes those as she describes it as like a large number of stars coalescing into a galaxy and swirling around and she really gets that like you said yeah. from the portamenti the glissandi like the sliding or the streaking yeah it's beautiful and and then sure. the popping of the stars from the pizzicato i mean it's such an energetic piece and and it really shows you another side of string orchestra and string playing absolutely yeah uh a very aggressive style but in in uh in a very positive, <laughs> affirming uh, way. It I is think. quite, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And and I love this it, piece also because the stars. You know, when you look up at the sky, you see just these these twinkling stars that are maybe all yellowish or whitish. But with this piece, she really manages to bring in like a rainbow of stars. It really evokes that kind of that multicolored that you don't even get to see in real life you know it, she just amplifies your imagination of what you right. actually are or she's trying to portray which is amazing right we can we can we can uh we can be uh, i guess kind of uh serendipitous and just kind of enjoy the moment yeah. looking at the star and it's a it's a whole other uh whole other explosion of worlds that she has created so yes <laughs> yeah it's it's really fun i mean so what do you hope that the audience, you know, takes away from listening to such a, a, a modern and creative piece like this? And I think in, in these uh, challenging times that we live in, um, I, I think it will be uh, quite a breath of fresh air, actually. Uh, yeah. I think we need more uh, optimism out there. And uh, this, this music, I think, speaks a lot to that, I, I believe. So I, I know we're all like, very excited to, to play it. Um, uh, I know uh, it, it may be a reduced um, orchestra, but um, 
not reduced uh, energy. <laughs> yeah, that, that was my goal yeah. this season, you know, to really find pieces that even though we have to be reduced in numbers, really pack a punch in terms of the orchestral range. And I think this is one oh, of those pieces. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We can't, can't, can't wait to play it. So we're, we're uh, I think everybody's in for a treat and we, we have our hands full. So <laughs> Yeah, like I was telling you before, you know, I think if you are a strings lover, or if you're a violin lover, um, this I think this season is kind of like the decathlon of violin music. You know, we're getting things yeah. from Bach to Montgomery to Golihoff to Soldier's Tale. I mean, it's just yes, the gamut yes. Ooh, wow. of everything that the violin can do. I think it's probably one of the most diverse programs uh, pro, uh, that I've ever played in orchestral season. Um, and so it's, it's really a wonderful opportunity. Uh, I know not just for me, but, um, for, for our, uh, orchestra members, you know, so we're, uh, I think it's just a great, a great year ahead. So we're excited. Great. Well, go to unionsymphony.org. We'll be playing Jesse yes. Montgomery's Starburst on our March concert. And you can go to, again, unionsymphony.org for ticket information and schedule information. And we hope to see you at the concert. Yes. Thanks, we'll see you there.